right. Been a few days. I've been doing some work on there. That's what I've been tying myself up with. But I do want to get a little bit of work tonight done on this thing. So uh, I think my goal may not be a lot, but I'm going to try to at least get the, uh, the upper part. Well, basically get the dash more or less done. I think that's my goal. Um, I know some people were commenting flipping the grill, which might work, but I don't know. There's some... Maybe because I'll have a straight line? Eh. I don't know. We'll try it. We do have to address this, and I don't know if it's just... Yeah. I don't know. Let's... I don't know. Let's, let's do my normal thing. We'll just uh, start scabbing at stuff until uh, things work. Ooh, on a side note, we got... I'm not going to use these lights on the car, but a uh, buddy came by, gave me my... Gave me some random lights. I can't remember what those are. And then these are Dodge. These are super cool, but I don't think they're gonna go on this car. And then we got the tail lights that go in there. So everybody who's been making the comments, not <laughs> making fun of my tail lights. There we go. That is the product that's supposed to go in there. It's just the one with the one of them was missing the part. Nope, that one's there. Let's go. Maybe it fits better that side. There we go. That's the idea. That's the tail lights that are supposed to go in here. So, I'm not gonna leave them in there. I mean, they are plastic. I don't think they're glass, but we don't need those hitting the ground. So we'll set this stuff off to the side and uh, proceed. Oops. Proceed with monkeying around with the dash. Uh, some people were asking about will that clear the trim panels? Yes, it will. There's actually. A lot of room I can almost get my hand in there so because I wanted to keep it up to the, the inner edge of this car that's where I was struggling a little bit I want this edge just to line up to the original edge on the car uh, whether the dash will come out or not I don't know yet that's gonna be questionable it might be welded as a permanent fixture which is fine as long as I can get in here and be able to pull the cluster I like to be able to service things even if it is miserable I do want to make sure I can get stuff apart without having to cut things off. So looking from this angle, it looks doable. It depends on where the screws are that hold the backing because this thing should, should be able to fit out the back there. Uh, anyways, I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna get started. All right, we test fitted, so I can get the cluster out. It's a little bit of a fumble, but it actually will come out really easy. Uh, I basically just decided what I'm gonna do is I had the half inch rod, so I was kind of banging it, getting it into shape, because that would give us the option if we wanted to bolt it in, kind of thing. So it'll do that and it'll give us a good starting point that we can kind of try to make everything work off of. So. I think right now what the plan is going to be is I'm going to reset really the dash back in because I was hanging it over these speakers. Speaker bolts. So we'll, we'll kind of do that, give it a loosey goosey tack and then we'll, uh, I can see what I can cut off and what we can play with from there. I just have a feeling just because these lines are all wonky, um, I'm just going to kind of do a blind, well we'll leave this edge, we'll probably get rid of this. I think if I just cut uh, maybe I'll leave it just to leave some strength. Um, we'll cut just below it, get rid of this excess stuff. And then uh, we'll, we'll build off the top of it. We'll be able to cut the, 
the bottom part out later. Um, just for now, just, well, not that this stuff would actually get floppy, but eh, whatever. Cut, make it look clean, zap this on, and uh, we'll, we'll see how our speaker grill is gonna work after. What did I do? We used our cardboard templates. We kind of made up a rough shape that we wanted for the top. So that was my goal here. Uh, it is gonna go like a so, and then it should, with a little bit of persuasion, kind of just round up and do what it's supposed to do. I just sat on my steel version of it. Um, I think you see me kind of hand loosey goosey bend it up. And you know what, for the most part, that would get a guy really close because it's gonna body worked anyways. I have an English wheel, so I'm actually just gonna wheel this a bit just so this transition, whatever, isn't as jagged, I guess. I don't know. You really don't need it because just by bending it with your thumbs and whatever else, a guy will get pretty close to the shape. My goal is once this is done, I would like to, uh, well, I probably, hmm, picking this through. I'd like to break this edge, but if I roll this, ah, uh, we'll do a hammer, a hammer form, that's fine. We'll just hammer it over a dolly. I'd like to trim this. I'd like this edge to jump down a bit, kind of like the original one here. And then, uh, oh, you know what? Well, there's not enough of it, but yada yada. This side I want to fold down so it's flush with the inside of this, and then we can kind of smash it to match the edge of the dash. Anyways, what I'm gonna do is find a die that's meh, almost got no crown to it. I don't want like this die, it's pretty flat. But, oh, it's so humid in here. I'm gonna guess this die, sorta. 
We'll have to clean it up a bit, a little rusty. Anyway, okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna switch these out. We're gonna uh, roll this thing through there for a little bit and uh, We'll see if we make it better or worse. I can't say I really am good at what I'm doing here. Holy are these rusty We got some definite moisture problems in the shop here. I Don't know which one I want. We don't need a lot Yeah, whatever. Anyways, let's just let's set her up wheel it through a little bit. We'll see if we if they feels nice, because then from there we'll be able to tack it to both pieces. Well, we'll trim it, tack it, and then like this thing will be kind of removable, not removable. I don't know if I want it to come off. I don't know if I care. I think once it's in, it's in. I'm kind of happy with it. Anyways, let's uh, wheel these two pieces and see how, uh, see this one's got a bit of a crown to it. Although that could be perfectly flat and it'd be okay-ish. <laughs> Alright. Yeah.
All right, well this is working out really well. We got our sides in there. You were watching me, I was doing the old cut and butt deal where you, uh, I kind of using the dash to help shape it. And then I do some tacks, uh, tack welds, and then we run the zip cut through it. And then we can, you know, you kind of do the butt weld. Uh, if you check out Fitzy's channel, he kind of explains. He's got a good example on doing it. I've been doing it for whatever. It's kind of the lazy way. You kind of, I find it lazy because you kind of reuse. I can't quite pull out the extra junk, but usually what happens is you just keep cutting and then you'll end up slicing off the, the excess that you don't use. Anyways, that's done. We got these all done. I only have it spot welded because, well, the kid's using my smaller welder, so. I usually weld this with 2.3 on the 110 welder. Uh, my 220 welder has 3.5 wire in it, which it works, but it produces a lot of heat. So I'll just kind of roughly tack stuff in and then I'm gonna weld it up later. So where we're at right now is we got this. This actually looks all good. So we have a tack to this bar, so whatever, our, our, our bur our windshield's raised up a little bit. We'll have to add a few fillers, but there are garnish moldings that would cover this. I was able to get this side a little better, but eh, no big deal. You can just weld in a little piece if a feller wants to. Um, I'm not too happy with the shape going on here, but I can at least take the dash off now because overall everything's actually in the right shape. And we can start working on the speaker grill. I loosely played with it a little bit, you seen? So what I did is I cut the peak off of it or the, the indentation kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this and we're just gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna make this come off. So uh, like looking at it now, uh, I don't know if I'll weld it in or not. Uh, I just don't know how to finish the top. I don't wanna, I'd almost rather have this all smooth out and maybe this will just get welded and then we'll leave the bottom open, which is kind of weird, but I don't know, I think it, I don't know. We'll play with it and see what we get. Maybe we won't make it removable. I do want to get it off just so I can get these lines a little better, a little more crisp. So, uh, yeah, so basically I got a bust. I only put a couple little spot welds, so I did a little spot weld here on either side, and it's tacked on to where I wanted to bolt it on. I don't know if it will now. We'll see. Well, it still could, but uh, yeah, we'll bust those, get it off, we'll put it on the workbench, and then we can start working this piece.
Well, look at this. We have our dash, well, pretty much all tacked in. I can't finish the welding until he's done using the welder over there. Then I'll uh, kind of zap this all together. But you've seen me weld a million times, so it's not like you need to see me fully weld this. But we have, in the front, nice like it fits pretty tight i mean the wind in the end the window frame is going to uh, hide a lot of that uh what i came up with yeah, i guess i got to tweak that some more i thought that would work okay i put a button in the middle i'm gonna do it on the sides but anyways it's not 100 percent right now but i'll fix that up the uh what i did is i just made a filler piece up here and then we were able to keep the peak of the the radio or the speaker screen so I think that looks nice and clean. Looks good. I don't know. I'm happy with it. So we got there. We got the sides done. We don't have any way to fasten the dash in yet. It's just basically uh, mocked up for now, which is fine. I don't know if I'll fully get around the welding it today. I still got to plug away at that thing some more, but yeah. See, we got both sides, they're gonna go in. We'll have to add some bracing underneath here yet because I do wanna hang the steering column off of it. So we cut some of those, like that brace that goes across like multiple times. So we'll have to beef that up a little bit and then uh, we can come back and like attach, either bolt it. Well, there's a bolt down here. So we can probably bolt that on either side as it's supposed to be. I uh, test fitted the new cluster and uh, yeah, you can get it in, no problem. I mean, if you got the light switch or the headlight, or the uh, key or something, you'll have to take that out. But other than that, it actually works okay. All right. Well, that leaves us here. I gotta still finish welding this all up. I'll do that one a little later when the kid's finished with the welding or, or the welder over there. But uh, I guess, uh, well, we got some progress, some update here. I still gotta do some more plugging away at that thing. So I'm gonna finish up on there and then we'll kind of jump back on this thing partner around. Um, sounds like Trevor will probably be starting on his Essex again, so we'll see some more updates happening with that thing coming. Um, but yeah, I uh, want to thank you folks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.